Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, playing as Columbia. Last episode was an excellent episode, because we finally, finally, finally finished our conquest of Peru. Um, yeah, it is done. Resistance doesn't look that bad at the moment. Interesting. Unless that's just the wrong thing I'm looking at, but anyway. Um, let's, uh, let's reset and let's see what we're going to do now. I mean, that was, oh, that took a while, but that worked out. Uh, we are a little bit low on resources right now. We do have more civilian factors now, which is awesome. That is very good. So we could trade for a few more things. Uh, I think at the very least we'll go ahead and trade for some more steel. Let's see here. We could keep trading with the United States, I suppose. I have some available. We get a couple more of those. That should get us uh, down to just two short, which isn't great, but it's definitely better. Uh, overall production here, we have we are maxed out on. We got apparently we got all the military factors when we took their capital, which is fine. Go ahead and uh, plug in a couple token things here and there. Um, I'd like to get some more rocket artillery coming at some point as well. That's fine for now. All right, who is our next conquest? I mean, I think if we want to keep going for the Grand Columbia thing, we've got to go after like Panama or Venezuela at some point. Uh, what does Venezuela look like? Lot, I mean, it's got a decent amount of manpower, a lot of military forces here. I mean, they're not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. Um, what about Panama over here? And they're still guaranteed by the United States, but so I think I think Peru was, was was as well. So Panama would be an easy take. So we'll probably go ahead and see if we can take out Panama. We'll justify the war, go conquer. Go ahead and send that. Get that going. We may even justify on Venezuela at this point as well. Just to make it an option. Uh, I don't even think it matters which one of these we pick. I mean, is one of these cheaper than the other? Or are they all the same? They're all the same. Oh, no, that one's a little bit more expensive. We'll just take one of these. Just say, sure, that one. Because I think we can, we, can, we can completely take over the whole thing with just, just one. That's something that somebody had mentioned in one of the comments, so I appreciate that. Makes sense. But, uh, yeah. All right, and now... Um, so on that note, we're going to move all of our air units back up to the north. Um, probably, can all of them, I think all of them can go here, right? Yes. You can go up here as well. And then, all of our military units. This military primarily. Um, go ahead and set up I don't want to add you to this. I just I want you to be a part of this as well. Um, how do I want to do this? Because I'm not going to need all of you, all of my other guys on over here. In fact, honestly, we may only need the Mountaineers, even though it's jungle, but they're elite units, and the Cav over here. So we'll start with that. You guys, start with the Mountain guys. We'll give you guys a front line over here with a offensive line of obviously just taking what you can. And that'll be fine. And our cab units will just get up into the area. I think we are going to need uh, ships, though, to be able to... Because we can't get past this part. Um, so I think we'll have to get ships to get land over here, unfortunately. Which is what it is, I guess. I mean, we got two ships currently. Um, and then the rest of my units can probably strategically deploy... Where is it? The strategic deployment thing. I'm sure it's just a hotkey or something like that. I actually don't know. Um, well, for now, let's just go ahead and have you guys start heading up this way. We're going to give you guys an offensive line or a front line of this border with an offensive line of this river. That did not work. 
start with that for now. Uh, and actually these other units, these, these smaller units, I may turn you guys into garrison units actually at this point, which could be a smaller template. Um, let's see how do I want to do that. I want to do uh, recruit division designer. Let's get us a garrison template. I'm going to duplicate you for now and make you guys I don't think it really matters. Uh, you guys get the lesser equipment and you guys don't need any of this stuff. Really, I just need probably just a width of 10, maybe. Like, really doesn't need much. Just just enough to garrison. I might give you some cav, actually. Because if you're going to be garrisoning, you might have some, some policing efforts to do. If I remove a couple of these and add in a couple cav. Because the cav are good at... Where is it at? Suppression. Is it suppression or is that is that what I'm looking for? I think so. Yeah, yeah. So they're plus two on suppression. So I'll drop in a couple cap to get you up to a ten. And I think this will be fine for now. Do I have any? I mean, anti air is probably okay. Field hospital, yeah, whatever. I don't think I need the support artillery for these type of units. We'll go ahead and leave the engineer companies because you know entrenching our garrison units is probably okay. Sure. The rest of this is fine-ish. I'm sure I could probably trim back this even further. Uh, but it really just doesn't need to be that big. They're just, they're just here to serve a certain purpose. And what I'm going to do is grab all you guys and turn all of you guys into... Um, how do I do that? Right, there we go. Turn all you guys into these, which means you are going to free up some equipment and manpower. Okay, so that's that. And so these guys, we're going to go ahead and call this a new theater. We're going to call this just Colombian Garrison. Um, that's just fine. We'll actually color these guys a little bit different. How do I color you? Uh, <laughs> how do I change your color? Oh, that's cool. Um, I know there's a way, right? Oh, it's over here. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna change your color and symbol and all that stuff. We'll just make you this little castle symbol. And we'll make you a, I don't know, a blue. That'll work for now. All right, so there's our garrison. And in order to garrison, what do we want to garrison? We want you guys to now garrison. There we go. Here's an areas. Okay, we'll remove all the outstanding orders. That's fine. Uh, I mean, do we just... I mean... Target specifically... We're not going to guard forts. Attempt to low resistance is fine. Guard air bases, guard coastlines, guard naval bases, guard victory points. I suppose that's okay. I mean, do we just cover the whole thing? To say everything and um, it'll tell us how many we would actually need to do all this so we might be able to recruit a few more units into this to help garrison this areas so we need 28 divisions so we're we're a bit short but these are just small divisions so you know it's fine we can even trim back on some of this stuff to be honest like this whole coastline guarding thing might not be as necessary in fact there we go drops it down to 12 divisions just to guard some of the critical points probably okay for right now So we'll probably just queue up four more of those to add to that. We'll add a line. A couple of these. We need four of these just to do it once. And location would be, I don't know, somewhere up here. Go Bogota. And they can be assigned to this troop. Cool. So we get four more of those out. That'll be helpful. Now we're a little bit short on, on equipment and stuff. Uh, manpower is better. 
production. Um, I mean, we're very short on the infantry equipment right now. We're also a bit short on steel down here, which is fine. At some point, we will have to start working on military or uh, ships, but that's not anything we have to worry about right this second. We're a little bit short on aluminum as of right now. I'll have to think about that. But hey, we've actually got better. You know, we're finishing off this civilian factory, which I think is okay. And then we'll start working on some of the infrastructure, things like that. We've got a few civilian factories now. Should we train up more? Maybe. We've only got seven. Um, we can also start taking some of the decisions now to convert some things around. But I think we're okay for right now. Let's go ahead and have things running a little bit. I think I'd like to get up to at least 15 civilian factors. I think that would be helpful. Um, 15 free civilian factors, maybe. Just to have a full line doing that kind of stuff. So maybe we will add in some more build orders for civilian factories. All right, so there's secret weapons. So that's just going to give us some boost to technology for electronics, nuclear stuff, rocketry stuff. Probably would have been a good idea to hold off and do that for that research boost that we just got, but we'll be okay. Um, so we are short on factories by nine to be able to pick up one of these things. So that might be a critical effort is to just get a few more factories out. I'm going to come over here and why not? Maybe we'll start working on some jets at some point. All right, so everybody's repositioning at this point. You don't have a general. Um, do you really need a commander? I don't think you really need a commander. Uh, up here, let's actually change some of these units up a little bit. So this is my cav unit. So let's change the symbols. We're going to make the cav uh, red. And give you guys... I don't know. There we go. I'll give you guys that symbol. And then these guys over here are our mountaineers. Make you guys kind of this orange color. Um, I'm going to give you guys a star. because You guys are our elite units. That'll help different, differentiate things a little bit better. All right. I mean, things are better. We're getting better. That was, that was a huge, huge win. Taking that stuff over. I see a lot of movement on the Venezuelan front because they know that we're, we're, you know, trying to, uh, you know, get a war thing set up for, against them. So I can understand that. Um, our air units, are they up here? Yeah, they're up here finally. So our air units will, um, I guess we'll start with Central America. I think that covers this, right? Or is that, where's the line? I actually don't know which part this is in. Is this... Well, I guess we'll just right click on this area and we'll see what it comes up. Okay, so that's Central America. Fair enough. And they're able to cover up just enough to be able to basically get all of the Panama places. Um, as far as air wings, let's. Um, I don't know if we need to add air wings, but let's just grab this one and increase this one up a bit. Let's just make it even 400. Can't quite hold all of them here, but at least it's a start. I don't even know how many air units we have. Like, did we have more than that? Oh, we had, we had double what we were using. So that was a small mistake. It's just because these airfares were so small, I hadn't even put in more stuff as we went along. But yeah, 293 close air support. That is, that is awesome. In fact, we may trim back some of the fighters a little bit. In fact, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Uh, not that. That's what I want to do. I want to get rid of uh, this air wing and this air wing. That way we're going to have 400 and 400. That'll work. Highly experienced uh, uh, units. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see here. What what kind, of, what kind of air units do you have? I haven't even looked. You actually have a lot of air airplanes, so this is going to be a much harder battle for us. Uh, they have like no ships, which is, I guess, cool. You have no ships, no air units. So Panama should fall pretty quickly. We actually should even be able to do a, a naval assault if we want to, which will be fine. So the recruitment, we're just short on equipment. Uh, if anything, I'm just going to stick out one more set of those. And actually, I don't even know if I care about these right now. If I did anything, I'd want some more Mountaineer troops. I'm going to move you down. Let's go ahead and get these guys 
figured out first, and then we will figure you guys out later. All right, so we're okay on fuel now. So our air units aren't even doing anything right this second. All right, so our troops are trying to get along the line here. That's good. Uh, who else we got? So Bolivia down here could be a useful one. I think I got very few troops, a few factories, not a lot. Um, or they, they're currently being guaranteed by the United States as well. So that means we probably could do something against that. In fact, Bolivia might be a smarter choice than Venezuela, first off. Even uh, Chile down here might be useful because they've only got a handful of units. We've got Argentina. Probably has a lot more, right? Uh, they've only got 10. Paraguay. I don't know. Maybe we do make our, our way through some of these. I think we'll go ahead and get Panama first. The reason I want to go for Venezuela is just because it finishes off my Grand Colombia, but they are much tougher than any of these other guys are. So maybe those other ones would be better. How many days do we have? 15th of June, 1943. All right, we got, we got some time to wait. Is this one the same, same rate? August. Okay. Oh, fair enough. They don't like the fact that I'm justifying war goals against them. We're at 121,000. What was their manpower? Fairly low. We got more ships. We got, or more planes, I mean. We got more manpower. But they, I think they have more divisions at the moment. Any decisions we want to pick up? More than 20%. Weekly stability goes up. Daily political power gain goes down. Weekly support goes down. Probably don't want to do that. Looks like we can't. Oh, wait. Wait, why is it? Oh, it's because I have unhighlighted. Never mind. Uh, I don't think we want to do that. I mean, the stability is nice, but our stability is honestly okay for the moment. What what uh, Venezuelan states do we need? Well, we need all of them. All gain cores on all. Oh, no, we, we do gain cores on all Venezuelan states if we get this. We just need. No, we need control all Venezuelan states. No, that's right. Okay. I was correct. All right. So our units are up here ready. Uh, where's our cab? Are they still moving up? Or did I even bother moving them up? I actually might have forgotten. Oh, they're coming. Very slowly, but surely they're coming. But our Mountaineers are ready to go. Whenever we get Panama, we can click the button. I mean, do I start justifying against some of these guys down here? I mean, I feel like it's a good idea. These guys would be pretty quick. Are they, what kind of uh, resources do you guys have? Resources. I mean, you have a little bit of steel. You have a lot of tungsten, which, you know, we're not really using a whole lot of right now. You have a lot of steel as well. I mean, enough steel that we would um, save ourselves some civilian factories. I'm kind of thinking we might go after Bolivia down here before we go after Venezuela. I do want to go after Venezuela. But maybe not as critically. Um, in fact, would our Mountaineers and Cav be able to handle this right here? That's not what I want. I kind of think they would. Our, it's eight units that we'd have against their five elite units at that. Well, specifically our Mountaineers would be elite. They might be enough to take this out, especially since the capital is like right next to us. We wouldn't have to take much. You know what? Let's do it. Justify all the war goals. All the war goals. Does it really matter here? 75. Both 75. All the goals. I mean, we're losing a lot of... No, actually, we're okay. I guess that was just a flat amount. I forgot. That's right. I thought it was uh, per day or per, per cycle, but it's just a flat amount. All right, I guess we can go up to speed at least four, maybe even speed five at this point. All 
Do any of you guys have, yes you do, I was gonna say you guys have probably some promotion things at this point. Fast planner, faster planning speed or max planning, which is both good. Reinforcement rate goes up, division recovery rate goes up. Infantry division attack sounds really good actually. I mean, these are the specific field marshal traits, so we probably need to pick these up for our field marshal, marshal when we can. So with fast planning. And then you do not, you do not, you do not. All right, so we're good. Uh, good stuff there. I mean, I'd still like to get a couple more Mountaineers out, to be honest. If nothing else, that they're just because they're elite troops. Well, that's right, because we, we can't do those because of our Special Forces cap at the moment. Which is... Yeah, 36. Ah, fair enough. We're about to finish off the soft attack bonus, which is going to be nice. Still got a lot of days until these research boosts come in, but hey, I mean, once they come in, they'll make everything else faster. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Um, and uh, yeah, next time, maybe we're ready to go to war with at least Panama. We shall see, but I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.